your view on all things to do with the future security. We're ramping up to their RSA coverage tomorrow, of course, Jeff. And, well, is ChatGPT, is AI going to be a help or a hindrance, do you think, for security overall? Caroline, thanks for having me. Look, I think for our enterprise customers, when they think about keeping their workloads and their employees safe and secure, you know, they need better network solutions and that are software enabled in order to defend against a threat that is invariably likely to be dynamic and changing quicker every day. As Barmack just mentioned in his previous episode in the announcement with Cisco, the tools that make us more productive can be used for good, they can be used for bad. And what I'm excited about at AT&T and what we're hearing from our enterprise customers is that, you know, the perimeter that they have to defend is getting more complex. They not only have a hybrid cloud environment and on-prem applications, but their end users are also in a hybrid environment uh, connected either at home, doing productive work or on the go. And so really what the industry is looking for is the expertise that AT&T brings in providing yes. an integrated converged solution across uh, both fixed and mobile networks in an architecture that enables them to respond quickly to this very dynamic changing landscape. Jeff, I'm, I'm looking forward to being on the ground at RSA here in San Francisco. I think a pretty obvious question is why is AT&T there and interested in cybersecurity? You went to the enterprise side of your business, but you think about it as a network, the large body of customer data that you're responsible for. It must be a, a, a pretty big stress for you making sure you are safe and secure. Well, Ed, it certainly is. I mean, we operate one of the largest networks in the United States, and what we do at AT&T is important, not only for all of our customers, but also for the nation. Our broadband infrastructure and keeping it safe and secure is a top priority and part of our 147-year heritage. And so in that, uh, the reason why we are engaged um, personally or internally for our own network itself I mean, we, we have uh, heavy lifting and work that we do day in and day out, keeping our own network safe and secure. And we've done this, Ed, with network uh, innovation in three areas. The first, we've actually embedded security capabilities native into our network. Um, we couple that with the ability to see across both the fixed and the mobile uh, networks you know, the end customer, they don't really discern between how they are connected to the internet, whether they're a large enterprise customer right. or a consumer. But what they know is they need that information uh, to be secured. And here at AT&T, our priority is to make those connections fast, reliable, and secure. Jeff, we asked our audience how top of mind cybersecurity is right now. And actually almost 70% of respondents said that it is a big concern. You know, you added fewer new customers this quarter than compared with a year ago. You kind of U-turned on, on the, the, the change of heart with home internet services. Is cybersecurity what makes you competitive in those fields or do you have work to do? We, uh, I think we as an industry have work to do, but I think AT&T has a marquee advantage here. In fact, I mean, we added a lot more customers than just the postpaid phone net ad customers. When you think about the number of connections for our connected cars that we enable across the nation, you could only imagine that you would want those interfaces to be secure, especially in a day of self-driving and autonomous vehicles and the promise of what we're bringing to life with 5G. Um, I will never say that the work is complete. It's a very dynamic landscape. And I would tell you that our enterprise customers and our consumers yes. who once ranked coverage as high as possible in terms of performance have now elevated security almost equal to the core network performance. It's important for our entire customer segment.